Tracy, how much of Ans de Boer do you think it's the fact that she's lacking confidence, or is it also coupled with the fact that she's defending champion here? There's a lot of points to defend. A lot of points, lacking confidence, and maybe this is kind of scary. Don't want to hit an official. The knee is problematic still. She's still feeling some pain in the knee. Danielle Collins is becoming an expert at saving break points. She has saved six of them already. She leads three love opening set. So she's totally engaged. We talked to Ons a couple of days ago and asked her about her knee and she said the most disconcerting part, first of all, she still has pain, but it's also, it's unpredictable. It's not every single time on a certain movement. It's just all of a sudden out of the blue. That's very difficult as an athlete. Seems like that would provide so much uncertainty mm -hmm. for an athlete. Four and Don't know which movement makes it, triggers it, or makes makes it hurt more. range with the two-handed backhand. She's hit the slice well, but lots of errors coming off the drive two-hander. There's a look at the Jabor camp. A little bit concerned. Your husband really pumping her fist. Come on, hang in there, he says. Soft hands there from Ans Jabor. Jabor using the wind beautifully. The wind is blowing from Jabur's right to her left. So watch this backhand. Hits it wide, but ball stays in. And then this drop shot holds up. Excellent first serve there from Jabur. Needs this game. Three of the four games so far she has had game points. Needs to get on the board here. I think Jabur should use a body serve once in a while, especially in the deuce side. Well, Ans Jabur getting a little frustrated. If uh, you wonder, gotta be careful with a racket. I remember that time when uh, Novak Djokovic uh, hit a ball so randomly. It was at the U.S. Open, I believe. He hit a ball uh, behind the baseline after the point was over, I think, and uh, it hit a umpire in, or not the umpire, but it hit a lines woman in the neck, and uh, they kind of talked about it. I've uh, never seen anything like that before, but the umpire and the referee kind of talked about it and said, we have to default this uh, superstar, Novak Djokovic, because you can't, you can't do that. Um, so it didn't, wasn't seem like he did it intentionally, but uh, yeah, that was a weird time uh, seeing that. Ans Jabur was not at all trying to uh, hit uh, the linesman uh, with her racket and didn't, but it came pretty close. And like Tracy Austin, who's commentating this match, over here in the United States, uh, she's like, that's pretty scary to to do that. So you, um, the sport of tennis is quite strict on protecting, every sport actually is strict. Every professional sport is strict on not touching the referee, not touching any assistant coaches, stuff like that. So, um, but I understand the frustration. Uh, 
professional tennis, they're giving it their all uh, like I would know. I'm, I've never played professional tennis, but you, you know what I'm saying. We we all, in a general sense, get the idea that uh, professional tennis is, uh, they, they have to give it their all if they want to win. And um, uh, kudos to Ons for getting a, a set of Daniel Collins today, but she ended up losing in three sets. Um, and I love Ons Jabur. Is it Ons Jabur or Ons Jabur? Because commentator today was saying Jabur. I think it's Jabur. Correct me if in the comments. Let, let us know. Trailblazer Ons um, Jabur <laughs> uh, playing today and hasn't done well. Uh, the last two or three months, all the way back to WTA Finals in November. She hasn't been playing well as far as wins. Um, but um, I love when she plays Iga Sviantek. Our beloved Iga Sviantek has played Ons quite a few times. Of course, they played uh, Ons and Iga played in the U.S. Open Final, and we know who won that match uh, in straight sets, by the way. Um, but uh, clay, clay season is here. The ball is moving slower than I've ever seen it before. The ball always bounces so slow on clay. And uh, French Open is just around the corner. Iga, will Iga Sviantek win the French Open? She's won it three times, I believe. I want to say it's 2020, 2022, and 2023. Uh, can she make it quattro? Um, I would say yes. I, I, I think, uh, man, fans are always so hard on Iga Sviantek. They gave her quite a bit of... Uh, I was going to say the word hell, but quite a bit of uh, uh, hard, harsh, constructive criticism uh, after she lost her match in the Miami Open. Um, but she won Qatar, so it's like, and she won uh, uh, all these things. Am I losing my mind? I'm so tired right now. I'm so tired right now. I'm wondering if I'm mixing up Indian Wells and, no, she won Indian Wells, right? And then I'm, give me a break. I'm so tired right now. It's literally 1 a.m. in the morning right now. She won Indian Wells. She won Qatar. And she lost in the Miami Open, right? She lost to Alexandrova, correct? Yes. Good. <laughs> a lot of fans giving her a hard time when she loses. But uh, uh, haters are going to hate, and people are... That's just what they do. But um, no, I mean, Iga Sviantek, she's a professional tennis player. She That's just kind of what comes with being the number one player in the world. You get criticized a lot. Love seeing, I will say this, I do, I'm not a huge fan of Serena Williams, respectfully saying, but she is the GOAT, obviously, and uh, I love seeing her at the Miami Open. Uh, she was going up to players, talking to Dimitrov, talking to Yannick Sinner. She seemed to be more interested in the men. Uh, I actually didn't see her in the crowd too much watching women, but uh, she was, it was great to see her, and she looks great. Um, so that was interesting. I think maybe she was in town because uh, her sister was playing in the tournament, wasn't she? I think her sister... I uh, was lost in the first round. Um, 43-year-old Venus still playing. Uh, so that's interesting. Loved uh, Martina never to love I wish Martina was commentating uh, Charleston this week. Uh, I love when never to love commentates, but it's a WTA 500 event. They're probably not going to get big names. We do have Tracy Austin, though. We have Tracy Austin and Lindsay Davenport, another former real number one. Um, and actually, Tracy Austin, I think, is real, former real number one as well. Uh, commentating these matches over here in the United States. That's kind of the cool thing, uh, uh, showing these little clips of these matches on Best Muscle Video on YouTube, is that uh, uh, if you don't see some of the American commentary, uh, I hope you're enjoying that. It's been, it's been a lot of fun uh, offering some color. So, yeah, uh, Best Muscle Video on YouTube. That's where you are right now. Um, if you are watching this, thank you so much. I know you have a lot of options on where you can watch your tennis. We cover Iga Sviantek so much, so thank you uh, for keeping it here. Uh, there is a thanks button on the bottom right of the video player. It just says the word thanks. I think right is this way. <laughs> uh, on your phone or on your computer, it just says the word thanks. Please click on that. You can send me money that way. Like I said, it's, it's around 1 a.m. in the morning right now, and I'm so tired. So thank you so much. I'm going to hop off here and get some more uh, tennis knowledge in my brain. I can't read to, can't wait to read your comment below. Um, believe me, I read all of them. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please do so. We're filming today in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we usually film in another studio in South Lake, Texas, about 20 minutes from here. But right now we're in North Dallas. Blessed to be in North Dallas today. Thank you so much. I will talk to you soon. And if you made it this far in the video, hmm. Love you. See you soon.